This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, you may recall last week I did a sort of a first impressions review on this guitar, a nice little Strat copy very kindly sent to me by the good folks at Glarry Guitars. And um, these guitars are about 70 quid if you go and buy one. And when I saw the price, I thought there's no way that's going to be you know really worth the candle it's you know it's just going to be little more than a toy and boy was i surprised um it came reasonably well set up i did have to do a little bit of setup work on it a bit of truss rod uh tweaking and you know kind of lowering the bridge saddles but now it plays absolutely buttery smooth no fret buzz no choking super slinky low action and you know it feels like a nice guitar to play um, the two or three areas that I was thinking about maybe doing upgrades on this guitar to were the pickups, uh, the bridge and the tuners. Now I've done two out of those three things uh, but I haven't done the bridge and more on that later. But what I have done is um, put a new set of pickups in as you can see here which look I think really rather nice against that uh black scratch plate there. These are a set of Vanson Alnico 5 uh, Strat style pickups and yes that price is for all three pickups. Um, you know that's a set of uh, Alnico 5 Strat pickups for 40 quid which is staggering good value and uh, we'll hear what difference it makes to the sound um, as opposed to like the, the stock ceramic cheap kind of pickups that were in this guitar to begin with. Uh, the tuners, uh, the original tuners on the guitar were a little bit kind of lumpy and notchy feeling. It, they got the guitar in tune and kept it there so I guess you can say they were doing the job but it wasn't a particularly uh, confidence inspiring um, you know, experience when you were tuning the guitar up. You you never really felt that um, it was likely to stay put in tune. Didn't have any tuning issues with it, but I just thought uh, I'll get a set of these. Here they are. Um, these are, again, Vanson uh, tuning pegs. And again, 16 quid for a set of tuners. You're thinking, how can that possibly be an improvement over anything that was already on the guitar? Well, trust me, they are. They've got a 15 to 1 ratio, which is at the bottom end of what I prefer, but it is kind of still in the happy zone. And more importantly, they have a, a lovely, smooth, well lubricated, you know, kind of positive feel when you're tuning the guitar. So that's, you know, that alone is a big improvement on what was originally on this guitar. I didn't do the bridge. Uh, I didn't swap the bridge out. Now, the reason for that is because I was going to put in uh, a Wilkinson Strat replacement bridge um, and then I mentioned this on the live stream um, I think it was last week and someone said um, yeah be careful with that the, uh, the the trem route on you know on these guitars is a little bit of a snug fit for anything with a big chunky bridge block so I've already got um, a Wilkinson trem, the one I was going to fit to this guitar. It's actually in my um, Harley Benton ST57 Strat copy, and it fits in there okay. So I just I just whipped the strings off that guitar, took the trem out, and test fitted it in this. And you know what? It is a bit of a, a tight fit. You're not really going to get a lot of um, you know kind of travel with the the tremolo arm on that because it's just going to kind of bind in that in the smaller trem cavity that you've got here. So I've just left the uh, the bone stock uh, bridge on the guitar. Anyway, the moment we've been waiting for, what difference does uh, the uh, mods that I've done, or do the mods that I've done, uh, make to the sound of the guitar? Well, you'll recall that last week I did uh, some clean sounds, some crunch sounds, and some high gain sounds with the original pickups, and uh, what you're going to hear now is, side by side with those original sounds, uh, the sound of these pickups, these Vanson pickups, um, so you can hear back to back what the old pickups and the new pickups pickups sound like in comparison. We'll start with the clean sounds. It's going to go kind of um, through every uh, position on the five-way switch. Uh, you'll hear the original pickups first, then the, um, the new ones.
And now, let's hear... Crunch Sounds. And finally, it's time for... High Gain Sounds. I think those Vanson pickups have made a big difference to the sound of this guitar. It just sounds a lot, um, there's, there's more clarity, there's more dimension there, especially on the clean sounds. And if you notice the original pickups, when you got to a high gain sort of sound, the moment you kind of went anywhere away from the bridge pickup, it started sounding a bit kind of flabby and, um, I don't know, like like a little bit sort of B in a jam jar, but um, this th these Vansons have really improved matters there, and I'm very very happy with uh, the results that um, you know that we've got from this. So anyway, what is to become of this guitar? Well, I mentioned at the time this guitar is uh, being donated to Zoe's place, Baby Hospice. I'll be contacting them in the next day or so to let them know there's another guitar here for them to pick up. If you don't know about Zoe's place, Baby hospice it's a charity in Middlesbrough which provides palliative respite and end-of-life care to children under five with terminal illnesses and um, you know they're not one of the big charities that get lots of uh, big donations they're just a small local charity and uh, you know I expect they're kind of um, 
sort of scrabbling around for funds at the moment so every little helps i'm going to give them this guitar and they can auction it off and um, what i'll probably do as well is uh, throw a, a voucher in with there for a couple of guitar lessons so whoever um, gets this guitar will get a couple of lessons to go along with it um, and um, I'll do the usual kind of thing when, when I hand the guitar over. I'll take some pictures so you can see it's actually gone to the good cause. And, uh, yeah, great little guitar, this. Um, I am tempted to get one for myself, I must admit, although I've already got a Strat-style guitar. Do I really need any more guitars? Probably not. We'll we'll see what uh, what January brings. Let's uh, let's leave it at that. But yes, this is going to Zoe's place uh, for them to raise money. And um, well, there you go. So anyway, f folks, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you found it useful and informative. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream tomorrow, at 5 p.m. UK time. Um, you know what that's all about by now. We just sit around and talk about guitars and have a beer for an hour or so great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you want to support the channel all the links are downstairs in the description thank you so much if you're doing any of that and thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thanks for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now